This is the Kennedy Space Center, the Guyana Space Center, and the Nauru Space Center. Do you know why all these space centers are located near the ocean? Hi everyone, I'm Comet, your friendly space guide. And today, we're digging into one of the most important but often overlooked parts of spaceflight. Where do we launch from and why there? Let's start with a simple truth. You can't launch a launch vehicle just anywhere. Choosing a launch site is like solving a massive 3D puzzle that includes physics, safety, politics, and geography all at once. First, it's all about trajectory. Satellites don't just float up and park themselves. They need to hit very specific orbits. And to get there, launch vehicles follow curved flight paths that are hundreds of kilometers long. The direction of the curve it depends on the orbit you're aiming for. If you are heading for an equatorial orbit, you want to launch eastward ideally from a spot near the equator. Why? Because the Earth's rotation gives your launch vehicle an extra boost, like jumping from a moving treadmill. That's why places closer to the equator, like Koro in French Guyana or Sri Harikota in India are so popular. But if you're aiming for a polar or a sun-synchronous orbit, you will want to launch north or south, not east. This is what Korea's Nuri does, heading south over the ocean to enter sun-synchronous orbit, perfect for Earth observation satellites. But safety first always. Launch vehicles launches involve staging, where parts of the launch vehicles fall off mid-flight. That's why most launch sites are next to oceans or wide, uninhabited areas, so falling boosters land safely. That's also why Korea's narrow space center is built in Gohun, a quiet, coastal area in the south. Besides, a launch site isn't just a pad, it's an entire ecosystem. You need tracking, fueling, assembly, and safety infrastructure. It has to be remote, but still reachable. That's why Korea chose Gohun. Building a launch site, it's not just about launch vehicles. It's about building the future from the ground up. So next time you watch a space launch, remember, liftoff begins long before ignition.